The Black Swan, The Impact of the Highly Improbable is a book by Nassim Nicholas Taleb that explores the concept of highly improbable events, known as black swans, and their impact on our lives. Here are 10 main points from the book. 1. Black swans are rare, highly improbable events that have a significant impact on our lives, often with far-reaching consequences. 2. These events are difficult to predict or prepare for because they fall outside the realm of normal expectations. 3. The human tendency to focus on the past and assume that the future will be similar is a cognitive bias that can lead to underestimating the likelihood of black swan events. 4. Black swan events can have positive or negative effects, but they are usually associated with negative outcomes. 5. The impact of black swan events can be magnified by the interconnectedness of modern society, which can cause them to ripple through global systems. 6. Traditional risk management approaches are ill-equipped to deal with black swan events because they focus on known risks and probabilities, rather than unknown unknowns. 7. One way to manage the risk of black swan events is to embrace the concept of antifragility, which refers to systems that thrive under stress and are strengthened by volatility. 8. Talib argues that our focus on prediction and forecasting is misplaced, and we should instead focus on building robust systems that can withstand and adapt to black swan events. 9. The media, financial industry, and experts are often guilty of overestimating their ability to predict and control the future, leading to a false sense of security and complacency. 10. Finally, Talib argues that we should embrace uncertainty and the unknown, rather than trying to eliminate or reduce it in order to be better prepared for black swan events. Point 1 in the black swan, Nassim Nicholas Taleb defines a black swan as a rare, highly improbable event that has a significant impact on our lives. The term black swan comes from the fact that, prior to the discovery of black swans in Australia, it was widely believed that all swans were white. The discovery of black swans was a highly improbable event that changed people's understanding of the world. Similarly, Black swan events can have a profound impact on our lives and the world around us. They are events that fall outside the realm of normal expectations and are difficult to predict or prepare for because they are so rare and unexpected. Examples of black swan events include the September 11 terrorist attacks, the 2008 financial crisis, and the COVID-19 pandemic. Talib argues that black swan events are not just outliers or statistical anomalies, but are a fundamental part of our world. They can have far-reaching consequences and can reshape our beliefs, values, and understanding of the world. Therefore, it is important for us to recognize the existence of black swans and be prepared to adapt and respond to them. Point 2 refers to the difficulty of predicting or preparing for black swan events because they fall outside the realm of normal expectations. This means that these events are so rare and unusual that they are beyond what we can reasonably anticipate based on past experiences or knowledge. One reason for this is that our understanding of the world is based on what we have observed and experienced in the past. This leads to a tendency to assume that the future will be similar to the past, which can lead to a false sense of security and complacency. We may be aware of the possibility of a particular event happening, but we often underestimate the likelihood and severity of the event. Another reason for the difficulty of predicting or preparing for black swan events is that they often have complex and interconnected causes. These causes may be hidden or unknown, making it difficult to anticipate the event. Additionally, the effects of a black swan event may be amplified by the interactions of various systems, such as the economy, politics, and technology. Overall, the concept of black swans highlights the limitations of our knowledge and ability to predict the future. It emphasizes the importance of being aware of the potential for highly improbable events and being prepared to respond and adapt when they occur. Point 3 refers to the cognitive bias known as the narrative fallacy, which can lead us to underestimate the likelihood of black swan events. The narrative fallacy is the human tendency to create coherent stories or explanations based on limited information or a small number of observations. We tend to take the most recent or memorable events and construct a story that makes sense of them. The problem with this approach is that it can lead us to assume that the future will be similar to the past, based on the story we have created. We may overlook important information that does not fit with our narrative and fail to recognize the potential for highly improbable events. Talib argues that the narrative fallacy is particularly problematic in fields such as finance and economics, 
where experts may rely on past data to make predictions about the future. This approach can lead to overconfidence and complacency, as experts may believe that they have a better understanding of the future than they actually do. To overcome the narrative fallacy and be better prepared for black swan events, we need to be aware of our cognitive biases and limitations. We need to recognize that the future is inherently uncertain and that highly improbable events can and do happen. We should seek to understand the limits of our knowledge and develop robust systems that can adapt and respond to unexpected events. Point 4 refers to the fact that black swan events can have positive or negative effects, but they are typically associated with negative outcomes. The reason for this is that the impact of a black swan event is often magnified by the interconnectedness of modern society. A small event in one part of the world can quickly ripple through global systems, causing widespread disruption and chaos. Examples of negative black swan events include natural disasters such as earthquakes, hurricanes, and tsunamis, as well as human-made disasters such as terrorist attacks and financial crises. These events can have devastating consequences for individuals, communities, and entire countries. However, it's important to note that black swan events can also have positive effects, such as scientific discoveries, technological breakthroughs, or unexpected successes. These events can change the course of history and have a profound impact on our lives. The key takeaway from this point is that we need to be prepared for both positive and negative black swan events. We should recognize that highly improbable events can have significant consequences and seek to develop robust systems that can withstand and adapt to unexpected outcomes. Point 5 refers to the fact that many people tend to overestimate their ability to predict and control the future. This is known as the illusion of control and it can lead us to underestimate the potential for highly improbable events. The illusion of control is a cognitive bias that leads us to believe that we have more control over events than we actually do. This can lead us to take unnecessary risks or make decisions based on false assumptions. In some cases, it can also lead to complacency, as we may believe that we are better prepared for the future than we actually are. Talib argues that the illusion of control is particularly problematic in complex systems, such as the economy, where small changes can have unpredictable and far-reaching consequences. He suggests that we need to recognize the limits of our knowledge and control and be prepared to adapt and respond to unexpected events. To overcome the illusion of control, we need to adopt a more humble approach to the future. We should recognize that highly improbable events can and do happen and be prepared to adapt and respond when they occur. Rather than assuming that we can predict and control the future, we should focus on developing robust systems that can withstand unexpected outcomes. Point 6 refers to the importance of recognizing the role of luck in our lives and in shaping historical events. According to Taleb, luck plays a much larger role than we tend to acknowledge, and it can have a significant impact on the outcomes we experience. Taleb distinguishes between two types of luck, ordinary luck and extremist and luck. Ordinary luck refers to the small, random events that occur in our daily lives and can have positive or negative outcomes. For example, finding a penny on the ground or missing a train can be the result of ordinary luck. In contrast, extremist and luck refers to the highly improbable events that can have a profound impact on our lives and on historical events. These events, such as winning the lottery or being involved in a terrorist attack, are rare and unpredictable but can have life-changing consequences. Talib argues that we tend to underestimate the role of extremist and luck in shaping our lives and in shaping history. We often attribute success or failure to personal attributes, such as hard work or talent, rather than recognizing the role that luck played in the outcome. To overcome this bias, we need to recognize the role of luck in our lives and in historical events. We should acknowledge that highly improbable events can have a significant impact on our lives and develop systems that can adapt and respond to unexpected outcomes. Rather than assuming that success or failure is solely the result of personal attributes, we should recognize the role that luck played in the outcome. Point 7 refers to the fact that our reliance on past data and statistical models can be problematic when dealing with highly improbable events. Talib argues that statistical models and other forms of quantitative analysis can be useful in predicting and managing risks, but they have limitations when it comes to black swan events. The problem with statistical models is that they are based on past data and assume that the future will be similar to the past. They are designed to predict the most likely outcomes based on historical data and cannot account for the highly improbable events that may occur. 
Talib argues that statistical models can give a false sense of security, as they may not account for the potential for highly improbable events. He suggests that we need to be more aware of the limitations of these models and supplement them with other forms of analysis. To overcome the limitations of statistical models, we should be prepared to question assumptions and challenge established methods of analysis. We should be open to alternative approaches, such as scenario planning and stress testing, that can help us prepare for unexpected outcomes. We should also be willing to adopt a more flexible and adaptive approach to risk management, rather than relying solely on statistical models. Point 8 refers to the fact that complex systems, such as the economy or the environment, are highly interconnected and can exhibit nonlinear behavior. This means that small changes can have unexpected and disproportionate effects, making it difficult to predict the outcome of a particular event or decision. Talib argues that nonlinear systems are particularly vulnerable to black swan events, as small changes can have large and unexpected consequences. This can make it difficult to predict or manage risks, as the behavior of the system may be highly unpredictable. To overcome this challenge, we need to develop a better understanding of nonlinear systems and their behavior. We should be prepared to adopt a more flexible and adaptive approach to risk management and be willing to experiment with different strategies to manage risks. One way to manage the risks associated with nonlinear systems is to focus on building anti-fragile systems. An anti-fragile system is one that can withstand and even benefit from stressors and unexpected events. This can be achieved by building redundancy into the system, diversifying our investments, and being willing to experiment with new approaches. By building anti-fragile systems, we can reduce the potential for highly improbable events to have catastrophic consequences, and be better prepared to respond to unexpected outcomes. Point 9 refers to the fact that the impact of black swan events can be amplified by human emotions and behavior. Talib argues that our natural tendency to react emotionally to unexpected events can exacerbate the impact of these events, leading to irrational behavior and decision-making. For example, a sudden drop in the stock market may trigger panic selling, which can further drive down prices and exacerbate the impact of the initial event. Similarly, a terrorist attack can trigger fear and anxiety, leading to a range of irrational responses. To overcome this challenge, we need to be aware of the potential for emotional responses to black swan events and take steps to manage these responses. This can include developing contingency plans, providing clear communication and guidance, and implementing measures to mitigate the impact of emotional responses. We can also benefit from adopting a more stoic approach to unexpected events. By recognizing the potential for highly improbable events, and preparing ourselves emotionally for the possibility of such events, we can reduce the impact of these events and respond more effectively to unexpected outcomes. Point 10 refers to the fact that the world is becoming increasingly complex and interconnected, which can make it more vulnerable to black swan events. Talib argues that globalization and technological advances have created a world that is more interconnected and interdependent, which can amplify the impact of unexpected events. For example, a pandemic in one part of the world can quickly spread to other regions, disrupting global supply chains and economies. Similarly, a cyber attack on one company can spread rapidly to other organizations and potentially impact critical infrastructure. To overcome this challenge, we need to be aware of the potential for black swan events to have global consequences and take steps to manage these risks. This can include developing contingency plans, diversifying our investments and supply chains, and adopting a more flexible and adaptive approach to risk management. We can also benefit from developing a better understanding of complex systems and their behavior. By recognizing the potential for nonlinear behavior and unexpected outcomes, we can develop systems that are more resilient and better able to withstand unexpected events. In summary, Point 10 highlights the need for a more holistic and integrated approach to risk management, one that recognizes the potential for black swan events to have global consequences and take steps to manage these risks at a systemic level. Thank you for your interest in this book. I would much appreciate if you leave your feedback on this book in the comments below or just put a like on this video. You can find links in the description of this video, where you can purchase and download this book.